The late Professor Ken Walibora's body was airlifted from Nairobi and arrived at around 2.30 p.m. at his homestead in Makutano, Transoya County. Professor Walibora was celebrated by many owing to his exemplary creative writing skills, which effortlessly flowed into his journalistic work, was only buried by 15 mourners in line with government guidelines curbing the spread of the coronavirus. Other members of the community followed the ceremony from a distance. Alikuwa mtu mnyenyekevu. Mkarimu na msikivu. Of course mtajua alipenda kuandishi. Ni hasara kubwa sana kwa jumuiya ya uh, wasomi na hasa Kiswahili. Alikuwa katika hadhi yake na nafikiri ni pengo ambalo haliwezi kuzibwa katu. His wife Anchebet and his two kids Sheila Zawadi and Katila Samba were not in attendance since they are in the US. Those who attended the 47 minutes funeral service were majorly his extended family members, neighbors and scholars. Sisi kama wanataaluma na wapenzi wa Kiswahili tunazungumza na tunapanga kufanya kitu cha kuweza kumkumbuka Ken Walibora. Namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutupa Ken. Kila ambacho tunaweza kufanya ni kujitahidi kutekeleza yale ambayo Ken alipendekeza na aliyahubiri katika maandishi na yale yote ambayo aliyasema. Walibora succumbed to injuries sustained after he was knocked down by a double M matatu along Landis Road in Nairobi. He was taken to Kenyatta National Hospital where he passed on. <laughs> By the time of his death, he was a contributor for NMG Swahili newspaper Taifa Leo. He has previously worked as a news anchor and editor for NTV and QTV as a head of Swahili at the Nation Media Group. Ama kweli tuwa umia wali bora kuondoka. He has also authored a number of Swahili books including Doto America, Kidaga ya Kimemozea and Sikunjema. Hali Magongo NTV. Thank <laughs> you.